So we're going to have a look at one of my favourite effects, the echo effect in After Effects. I'm using footage from Pixabay. This footage was by Tabu, Tabu to you. Um, so if you use this footage, please buy them a coffee or follow them. And uh, I've got the default setting on here. And you'll notice that when I turn it on and off, it just seems to brighten the lights in the scene. Uh, and depending on what settings you use, you can use it just to do that, just to boost the lights. Basically, what it does is it creates uh, another copy of the image and it composites it together using the add mode. But it has a time offset. If I put the time offset on zero and I create two copies, it's just going to create two copies and add them together, three copies and add them together. So you're just like blending multiple copies using different compositing modes. But if I add time offset into that, I can start to move those copies in time. So you'll notice that each copy is from a different period in time. And I can composite them together using add or blend mode. But it gets more interesting if I use things like maximum mode. Maximum mode is going to get rid of any of the darker areas, but accentuate the lighter areas. And you can increase the starting intensity. You can also increase the decay. And the decay is how quickly or slowly it falls off. So if I want each car to be slightly lighter than the one before, I can pull the decay value down. If I want them all to have the same value, I can put that value up. And this is just the starting decay. So I could have it fade from the beginning or fade from the end by using these values. If they're both at one, then each car should have the same value. And of course, by adjusting the time, I can move the cars further apart or closer together. So we've now got multiple cars moving along the street. Now, if I use minimum mode, I could accentuate the characters and get rid of the cars because I'm getting rid of the lighter areas and accentuating the darker areas. So it's a really interesting effect to play around with to get multiple copies of anything that's moving in your scene. Notice it's only the moving things that you'll see using this. Now there are another couple of operators. We've got add, screen, blend, which creates a blend. And then you've got composite in back and composite in front. Now when you're Working with full screen video, these aren't that useful because they'll just obscure all of the other ones and you'll only see one. But if I'm to bring in another piece of footage, so let's bring in this bit of footage here and I'm going to solo it. And it's very short, so let's just uh, make that my work area. OK, now this is on an alpha channel and this is where um, composite in front and behind becomes useful. So if I apply the echo effect to this, so let's just uh, drag, in fact, I'm just going to copy and paste it from here. So copy, paste. OK, now if I open that up and we've got uh, add mode, it's going to blend copies of this girl together using the offset. Now I'm going to give it a few more copies and you'll see that as I do that, it just keeps brightening it. Now if I choose maximum, I'm going to get the darker areas, uh, the lighter areas blended together and minimum, I get the darker areas blended together. But this is where it gets interesting. If I choose composite in back, we now have each of the characters being composited behind the main character. So I can have multiple characters dancing at the same time, or I can have composite in front. So when you're working with um, something with an alpha channel, this becomes really interesting. So I'm going to put that to 0.5. And you'll see now we've got multiple characters dancing behind our main character, or in front of our main character. So that's a little bit about how you can use the echo effect and all the different blending modes to create some different effects for your videos.